celebrate the release of new Mutable Instruments modules this spring, I've put together an all-mutable system I'm calling the Loom. I'll be revealing more of the system in future videos, but for now, we're focusing on plaits, paired with two of my favorite mutable modules, rings and clouds. That said, you won't be hearing a lot of plaits by itself. My aim is to integrate it into the whole of the system and explore making music with this all mutable instrument. Many of the examples in this video explore Platt's first green model, a pair of classic waveforms. It's nice, it has that hard sync. It's really easy to tune up that second oscillator. It's like a fifth or an octave for unison. And this is just one of the 16 dimensions of plaits. But I won't talk through this whole thing. Let's just listen. So you may be wondering, well, what's going on with warps and ripples? Warps is acting as a crossfader to mix between the two outputs of plats before going into ripples to filter. And then I'm modulating the filter cutoff of ripples with some secrets that you'll find out more about in the near future. Something that makes Platts unique is its level CV input. My first module was Tides, and Tides had something similar to this. It's basically a built-in VCA, so that you don't need to run it into a VCA to control the volume of it. So you can send it envelopes, you can send it LFOs, you can send it whatever, and it'll change the level of it. But Platts takes that one step further, and has a modeled low-pass gate that adds tamoral control to the level control and lets you adjust the decay of the ring. And you'll hear in this example that I'm going to shorten the envelopes and it's going to make the sound more plucky. And that's just before I bring in rings on a shorter, more plucky sound. This piece uses Platt's trig input to ping the low pass gate. It ends up sounding a lot like rings. But if you look closely, you can see that rings light is flashing on those high notes. So Platt's is the lower of the two. What you're hearing now is Platts droning in chord mode. All I'm doing is changing the timbre knob and it moves through the registers in such a nice way. And actually, I wrote all of these chord voicings. It was my primary contribution to rings. So basically, this model is Ring's Easter Egg.
what you've just heard, and a bit of what you haven't yet, forms an EP that is available for download exclusively on Patreon. I'll put a link in the description. Thanks for listening. Give it subscribe and ring the notifications bell if you want to be the first to find out what else is hiding in this case. And head over to Patreon if you want to download this EP and support me making music and videos like this.